I think Leeson's. I think Leeson and Elise. Yeah, because. Like, I agree that you're a better jungle. I agree that 100% you're a better jungle. But. I think I have a pretty good grasp on the meta. I think Leeson and Elise are, like, really good. And you can, like, just crush the game with them because they have, like, higher gank pressure. Because they bring, like, a little bit more damage and at least obviously bring CC. But the issue with them is if you don't get the ball rolling, if you go even with the other jungle. And unless your other jungle is, like, at least. Le the Graze and Lily hard farm. Like, hard farm way faster. And they definitely scale a lot better. Like, Nilly, like, one shots people. And she has better seeds. The thing he doesn't need to get ahead. He, like, 1v1s anybody in the game right now. Alright, so mid lane matchup is going to be Lux versus Aurelian Soul. That's pretty good for Lux. Aurelian Soul doesn't have that big of a range. So she can poke it down and wave, uh, wave clear and push him in pretty fast. Or Aurelian Soul is... Actually... Yeah, he can push in like faster probably, but like Lux has like a good enough wave clear to not be like stuck. Lux's wave clear isn't really that good until she gets like two items. Yeah. I actually think like Lux is not like that good at pushing. Yeah, I think so. If Tom catch each turn in during his alt, that's like uh, uh, that's like pretty good for Tom Kench, But I think turn in with life steal. Uh, can probably win that 1v1 if he doesn't get behind, and we'll just be a huge split push pressure. How I like to see Trinomir go ignite. I really don't like Trinomir with TP, because he really isn't, like, a team-oriented champion. I just want him to take ignite and kill Tom Kench, like, just over and over if he can snowball that lane. Uh, that's what I think with the top lane matchup. I think Tom Kench is, like, really strong, and but he can get hard-kited by Ezreal Lux. <coughs> Oh, I think it's a... Okay, guys. Nope. It's fine. Alright. I agree with you. I think it's the difference, again, where Rek'Sai far, uh, farms harder than Volibear by a lot. Volibear definitely builds, like, pure tank, and his AoE ability, like, doesn't clear, like, Raptors that well, right? Uh, he does have his bite, which is, like, nice, but I think Rek'Sai can farm a lot harder, and that's, like, the thing where if both the jungles don't really get something going, Rek'Sai builds a Tiamat and, like, almost doubles the speed of Volibear with his tunnels. Uh, so I think they're both pretty good early. Volibear definitely 
is probably better in like a 2v2, 1v1 scenario early, but Arc'sai has the advantage of farming and having that vision and that global ultimate just to keep farming late game or like mid game. I think I got to change with this E. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be pretty difficult for this Lux. Not only because of the champion matchup, but also maybe skill matchup. But um, I think I think it's up to the team like to neutralize the early and soul roams. And if Lux is able to farm, like it shouldn't be too bad. Because it's not like there's going to be any like kill pressure on her from Aurelion. There could be, but it's not really, yeah. I think uh, cleanse is like or if you need it, like in the middle, something from the jungler. Like if you're gonna okay. get ganked by someone with hard CC, I think like Elise. That's when cleanse is better, yeah. So, and the move speed from heal can help her to avoid like the Aurelian Soul Stun. She needs it. I feel like heal late game is kind of like a mini ghost. Ghost late game, I think, is like super good. Some people don't, yeah. Some people don't realize, like, Ghost, why would I really take that? I can, like, sometimes take heal. Like, I don't really need the summoner, but it's, like, you just have, like, so much, like, positioning advantage over your opponent because you're moving, like, at twice the speed. So you can, like, decide, like, how the team fight really wants to go. Uh, but heal's fine if you think you're going to get, like, bursted. But I would, I would like to see a Lux go Ghost. Like, her, like, counterparts as in, like, Volkaz takes Ghost and, like, Victor takes Ghost. They're both like long range mages. But I guess heal is fine if you are scared of the, the burst coming out. Yeah. That's... Yeah. yeah. That's actually really interesting. It's, um, like Thunderlords, you can proc that. Or can you still proc that with just an ability and an auto? Yeah, because your auto counts as one two. Yeah, that's why people think. Yeah. I I can see Death Fire Grass or Death Fire Touch being good too. Death Fire Grass is only good if you're hitting people with single sh skill shots like late game, really. Because if you're in lane, you really want to be autoing people for trading, where it's not even worth like trading. So I would really like to see Thunderlords. Maybe there's something we're missing. But I think Thunderlords is just overall better on Lux. Alright, Ezreal Nautilus. Nautilus is uh, not that good in Nami. One, he's melee. One, he needs to all in. And Nami is really good uh, just at like the 2v2s. She has a heal, she has CC, and she has uh, gives Caitlyn uh, auto insulas. We've seen Caitlyn a, few, uh, a lot of times in Worlds, and it's just a dominant lane force. Uh, you have the most range in the game, you have a range support, you have sustain, you have follow-up CC, once you bubble you can hit a trap, like it's just amazing. Uh, this bot lane is really, really tough to face, I've fa faced a lot, uh, but if you're going to face it, uh, Ezreal is probably one of the AECs you want to pick, just because you can be a bit more safe. Uh, but Nautilus is probably not the support you really want, Nautilus is not going to be too... Oh. Caitlyn Nami is like cancer lane. If you start falling behind against that, you're gonna have a really rough time. But I think, yeah, obviously Ezreal is like a lot, like really good because you can just CS with Mystic shots if you need to. And they do have some burst potential if they can catch your Nami. Uh, 
Yes, I'm going to be casting another game, so good luck in the duo. Uh, I Just so we can cover more games, I think it's better. Okay. Good luck, please. Let's see if Rek'Sai will respawn by going to Volibear's red. Or if he can even get there in time. Yeah, Aurelian Soul is pretty low mana now, and he did use his flash trying to kill the Lux. And she did a good job of dodging it, his abilities when he went in for that. The only problem with that though too is uh, both of his lanes are pushing pretty heavily. Yes! Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it catches up. That hitbox was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh... Using the heal to get in range might not have been the best option, but yeah.
Yeah, that bot lane fight was weird because I thought blue side was maybe reaching a little too far because they're all like really low. But I guess it worked out because if they didn't like go in hard, um, the Nami would have just like sustained them back up and they would have came ahead after that trading. Yeah, I probably could have like spit him like in a better direction. Yeah. Oh, the turn rate goes to the I think I think Rexide didn't get his knock up though. Yeah. That's the second aggressive flash we've seen from Aurelian Soul. coming in for the tower dive. She doesn't have much mana at all. Yeah, pretty nice there, but she is gonna go down. Looking for the Ezreal ult. scared of what might be behind him. Soul play was mint. He got like, I, it was a little bit of luck as he dodged the anchor, but he got that huge stun. He's hitting like multiple people with his orbs, and I think like he got another nice stun. I was like, what the heck?
Thorin's ring. The frost one? Dark seal? Going a little deep, Red Side's coming up. Never seen a... We're seeing a lot of baits. Red side has had a lot more impressive map movements. Oh, he's gonna be able to. Just take him out with the orbs, or not. That happens sometimes. Pretty good pressure on Tremere, not letting him uh, shut power down. Yeah, they haven't. You can't stop Tremere, but they have succeeded in slowing him down so far. The only way to really stop Tremere split pushing is to win the game. That should be an auto or the Kaelin ult. Yep.
looks like red is getting in position for the infernal coming up. weird because he got the vision, but getting chunked like that means you can't contest the dragon at all. Although, they can really contest 4v5 with Trinomir pushing the top lane. I think they were just going for that turret for dragon trade. Red team has slain. Yeah, they lost the member, they lost the flash on Volibear. The one good thing to come out of that play was red side chase for so long that Tremere puts quite a bit of damage onto that hand power. Draw portal, which I think would be pretty nice in helping the keep the lanes pushed out so they have more time to work with. can deal with the Tremere 1v1 at this point. They don't want to fill up the members, but I don't think they're going to get much off this top push. That was a nice snare on Torellian Soul. Close to staying with the Mystic Shot too.
Uh, right now... Yeah, with the teammate, Boo's just playing for the side lane pressure. Trying to get those tires down. But I think they might have some difficulty after that. Be barren for blue side if they decide to go for that. At the very least, they could get mid tower. Which I think was one of red side's kind of advantages they had. They saw that mid tower, but. Red team's Yeah, Red does seem to have like the stronger team fighting at the moment, just with the power in this rallying soul, but not quite enough power to dive 4v4 like that. I think Aurelian Soul for Sieging isn't bad just because he can zone by putting his orbs to like the outer ring. Or some stuns. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't hit the tower, but. Seems to be more of a... I feel like they're trying to just slow down the dragon to buy time. Um, Yeah, they really like and when you look at their champions, I mean mainly the volley bear, who a lot of their kills were on.
Yeah, this is starting to flop the hinges for Poutine. And, um... Yeah, if they're gonna pile onto Aurelian Soul like that, they need to have enough damage to kill him. Actually, Tom Kench has been doing a pretty good job of uh, neutralizing. Red does have fan control. I think uh, something needs to happen at Baron. Will we see a uh, hero steal? Eat a trap. Oh, MVP? It's gotta be Kiss McGee. Just... Yeah. GG.